What's up guys, I just wanted to make a short video following the reveal at CES from HTC. Yesterday after Nvidia's press conference at CES, I predicted that HTC would release a headset with foveated rendering, uh, eye tracking and virtual link. It seems like that they actually have. They came out with the headset called the HTC Vive Pro i, which is a Vive Pro with eye tracking, which they say will use foveated rendering and they also said that they would have improved visuals through Nvidia's RTX graphics cards. What actually led me to make this prediction was Nvidia's press conference was talking a lot about deep learning super sample which is a way to up the resolution and actually get uh, performance gains while scaling down the real resolution and upping it using AI. Since they were talking so much about this and hinting that HTC would actually have some kind of of a presentation linked to that, I thought, okay, they're gonna do something with a deep learning super sample, which is probably going to be foveated rendering. But if you need to do foveated rendering right, you need to have eye tracking. Henceforth, foveated rendering, eye tracking, and since Jensen from uh, Nvidia was talking a lot about the new RTX cards and how they have virtual link, I thought that a virtual link will be something they will be working on. Additionally, they also said that they are releasing the Vive Cosmos. So what is the Vive Cosmos? It is what looks like a standalone headset. It has uh, six degrees of freedom controllers. It has a flip up screen and it has two cameras in the front and two cameras in the side. It's very reminiscent of the Oculus Quest. It seems like their direct answer to the Oculus Quest. They did hint though that they will be able to link it to PCs and smartphones, which leads me to believe that you will be able to stream PC content through the virtual link since uh, even the HTC Vive Focus has a USB Type-C connector. They would probably be able to run PC experiences through this very small USB-C type cable. And since the Vive Cosmos will have inside out tracking, it does look like something that could be interesting for a lot of PC users. That, that's, that's just my quick thoughts. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm actually really excited about the eye tracking capabilities since uh, when we're working, for example, with neurological patients with uh, stroke and neglect, we can actually start to see some kind of heat map data on where their focus and their eyes are actually going. There are some great people, Jim Jensen uh, at the Ham News Center, who's actually making a lot of research about this subject right now. So guys, just a quick rant from me about the new releases from HTC. Have a good day out there. See you soon.